We're trying a new audio solution today. If you like it, fantastic. If you don't, I'm sorry. Hello everybody, my name is Alex Schiller and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about Microsoft's event that they had a couple of days ago now. I know I'm a little bit late, but wow, do I think that a lot of the uh, products, one specific product really, was a game changer. Just fantastic, huge innovation that we haven't seen from Microsoft since the original Surface Studio. Let's get into it. So they came out with four different products. They came out with the Surface Studio laptop, that's what it should be called. It was called the Surface Laptop Studio. And then they came out with the Surface 8 Pro. And then you have the Surface Duo 2. And then you have the Surface Book, or no, the Surface Go 3, or whatever that tiny little tablet one is. So the Surface Go 3. Um, the big shiner of this event was clearly the Microsoft Laptop Studio. And it's, wow. It changes the game. It's exactly what I've been hoping that Apple would do forever. It's exactly the direction that I think mobile computing should go. And it's, it's everything I could ever want. And here are a lot of reasons why. So the first thing is the hinge. The thing that made the Microsoft Studio, like the original desktop variant of this laptop, fantastic was the fact that it had a hinge for all sorts of artists, all sorts of different viewing angles, and just how very angled the hinge was. And they did it again in the laptop. They made the perfect tablet laptop two-in-one competitor ever. A lot of people don't use just solely the tablet anymore. If you have a Surface Pro, you know that you flip that keyboard over or I, I, I don't know of anybody who owns a Surface Pro that just doesn't, doesn't flip over the keyboard and use it with the keyboard still attached and then that way they can easily put it back together and put it in their bag. Like there's no reason to take pieces apart and then put them back together and it's just always been cumbersome and that's the same problem with the iPad computing system and even with like the floating keyboard thing. Like everybody just keeps it in the case. Like why wouldn't you already just have it all together and seamless? Which is why this replacing the Surface Book 3 makes so much sense because it just completely gets rid of the, hey, press this button so it unlocks it and then once it unlocks, then you have this, but it's also slightly less powered because half of the stuff was in the keyboard and the other half of the stuff was in the monitor. So like figure out what you want. Like this is the perfect in between and in my per personal opinion like the perfection of this thing that people have been trying to do forever whether it's apple microsoft samsung whoever this is the perfect version of like the combo tablet laptop and i think a lot of creatives are going to love it because of that very angle hinge the touchpad the touchpad is brilliant i think a lot of things have been heading this way from a touchpad perspective. I think um, haptic feedback is really, really easy. I think clicking just is one more mechanism that can break. And especially if people get angry and they deep click, like it's not gonna be that big of a deal. It's a haptic sensor. It's gonna be able to give you feedback and you're gonna be able to do gestures better. It just makes a lot of sense. I'm really glad that Microsoft made this subtle but very important adjustment to especially how Windows 11 is going to operate on their new operating system and just, be an overall better interface i think this is a fantastic move uh well done and then the pen i mean like the pen is the whole point of like the studio line of products so like obviously you need really good pen support i think a smaller thinner pen was a really good idea i don't know how a lot of professionals are going to feel about it just because a thicker pen feels better in the hand so maybe some people don't like the slim pen i feel like a lot of people who have gotten used to the studio line of products or like digital interfaces are a little bit better with misshapen pens but um, I think this is really good. So well done. You've always done the pen well. It's going to continue doing that here. The one con, the one problem that I have with this product, and I feel like a lot of people have with this product, is the hardware. Like the actual specs of it. The processor and the GPU and just all of the internals that just don't get updated like they should. Technically, they are on the newest gen hardware which is fine i guess they just could have like it doesn't make any sense to me that this is a quad core when you could be putting a six core or an eight core like you can't look at me and tell me that you can't fit a six core or an eight core in a laptop that thick you just can't and like half of your thing was like super great cooling performance like great this thing is going to run at five gigahertz the whole time awesome but like why couldn't you cram a six core? Like a six core would have been fine. If you had put a six core in there, it would have, yes, been the bare minimum, but I would have let it pass compared to what you used to do with your Surface Studio 2 and all of your like 
surface devices like the fact that you've had them so underpowered but like claim that they can do all these things like you just lose a lot of power that way and so quad core just isn't going to cut it i know a lot of this is going to be like productivity workflow and like cpu cores aren't super intensive unless you're doing like video editing or like gaming and stuff like that so like most of your clientele won't be pushing it to the highest limits but like a quad core cpu just isn't going to cut it i don't necessarily hate the 3050 ti and the gpu variant just because like how much gpu do you really want in your laptop if you really really need like a lot of gpu power you're either going to build your own rig or you're going to have a pc set up at home so like laptop on the go i think it's four gigs of ram or six gigs of ram you're fine you're totally fine and the rest of it uh it's got thunderbolt 3 um i don't think it has any USB-A ports which is eh but like you know the world is trending USB-C. most of you have dongles anyway it's fine i just think the cpu not being at least hexacore is a problem so that's my only con with it it seems like kind of a big one but i'm sure that they'll update it eventually the other two things that i did want to talk about were the surface 8 pro and the surface duo 2. surface 8 pro if you put anything meaningful in that like if you're trying to make it like kind of a workhorse like a mobile workhorse for you just buy the surface studio laptop like or Surface Laptop Studio. What? What? Seriously, that naming scheme just kind of bothers me a little bit, but it's a really great product, so I'm letting it slide. The Surface Studio Laptop. The Surface Laptop Studio. How do they say it? Surface Laptop Studio is what you should buy instead of the Surface 8 Pro. It's just a fact. Like, if you're putting anything worthwhile, like if you're putting an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, and more storage than 128 gigs, game over. Just get the bare bones Surface studio surface laptop studio seriously it makes so much more sense for a surface studio laptop whatever um so yeah i i don't see any reason to have any other surface product that isn't like the laptop or than the desktop variant i think they've pretty much like i said blown every other variant out of the water whether like the surface go can be like the just tablet thing right if you're doing just a tablet get the surface go but if you get the surface laptop studio i did it right this time the surface laptop studio it's literally everything you have in your other variants it's the same thing you have in the surface laptop just with the hinge it's taking out the surface book three and then there's no reason to buy a surface in my opinion so honestly don't waste your money on a surface 8 pro get a surface laptop studio and you're going to be so much happier and then seriously i'm going to walk away i'm going to walk away from this video if one of you comments in the comment section i'll quit youtube if you have a Surface Duo and you actually like it and use it, I'll wait. Please, seriously. Do you have one and you'll actually... I'll walk away from YouTube. I can't imagine that anybody actually uses that product. It's disgusting. Please don't. Never in a million years touch a Surface Duo 2. You can find so many other phones that do what that thing does in a smaller form factor and operate better on android that's pretty much all i've got for the microsoft event thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it like it comment uh let me know what you guys think about all the microsoft products i think the surface laptop studio was 100 percent the grand slam that microsoft needed to keep itself relevant so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more comment like this content like this and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye.